hello friends welcome back to smart coder in this video we are diving into the what's new in our flutter 3.32 from beautiful ui improvement to powerful ai integration this release is packed with the updates that you don't want to miss let's get started so flutter introduced the rounded super eclipse also known as the apple sequel and bringing smoother more natural curve for the ios native design it's now used in the cupertino alert dialog and the cupertino action sheet also so the new APIs like the rounded super eclipse border, clip our super eclipse and the canvas base method allow us to easily apply this shape across our application. So the next update we have Flutter fix several issues with the Cupertino bottom sheet. So it's now correctly handled system UI themes on Android and has proper navigation bar height, avoid cutting off content at the bottom and improve the corner radius and the transactions across the devices it's also now compatible with the pop-up menu button and making it more reliable across the layouts so the next update we have with the cupertino silver navigation bar dot search which receive a major animation improvement when opening and closing plus prefix suffix icons are now aligned correctly also the route transactions using cupertino bars now match with the latest ios system transactions and ensuring the better visual fidelity and the smoother ux so now let's move to the material improvements so now the Gradual controller now support with the animate to index offering the smooth index based navigation and great for both the fixed and the dynamic carousals. Tab bar now got new callbacks like on hover and the on focus chain and helping us to enhance the inter activities. Search anchor and the search anchor dot bar now have the view on open and the on open for better state handlings. Calendar date picker support the calendar delegates allow us to define the custom calendar logic perfect for the non-gregorian systems so now you can also customize the dialect animation and even apply the border radius to the dividers small touches that add polish also some of the box fix include which are drop down menu now can be narrower than the text field without the overflow error and rain slider show only one overlay when over slider thumb now reach both end and even with the transparent tracks so flutter 3.32 also introduced a major boost to the accessibility so semantic tree compilations is now 80 percent faster reducing the frame time on web by 30 percent so a new semantic role api gives the precise control over the assistive interpretations available on the web for now and there's an improved focus navigation better su support for the window high contrast mode via use system colors and has the screen reader support on android talkbacks now read links properly ios voice control ignores non actionable elements to reduce the clutches so there are also text input enhancement also like so ios user now get the native text selection context menu the autocomplete wizard use the overlay portal for the improved layout and also you can now customize the on tap up outside for the text field and form field lets us to use any widget as an error message. Selectable text is now smoother and less buggy and especially on the web. Next update is the multi-window desktop support. Thanks to the canonical, Flutter is now moving closer to the multi-window desktop apps and they fix issues across the accessibility, keyboard, focus, lifecycle and input. So Dart FFI can now directly communicate with the Flutter engine and paving the way for advanced windowing features. On Linux, a new raster thread keeps the app smooth even with the multiple windows. So the next update we have with the UI in the platform thread merging on Windows and the Mac OS. Now you can merge the UI and the platform threads. This is essential when using the Dart FFI with the native APIs like resizing a window using Win32. So for enabling this, we have to on the window, we have to set the run on platform thread and on the Mac OS, we have to add FLT enable merge platform UI thread to info.plist. This will enable by default in future Flutter version. So give it try. So Flutter now support the Firebase AI logic, a new SDK that gives the access to both 
Jabini AI API and the Vertex AI through the single package that is the Firebase underscore AI. So this let us build a generative AI feature directly in our Flutter application. No server required. You will also get the benefit of the generous free tire of the Jabini and the seamless integrations. So the next update we have the AI monitoring dashboard. And to help you to manage it all, Firebase now include a AI monitoring dashboard. It provides the detailed insight into the Gemini API uses, latency, errors, rates, and consumptions, optimization opportunities. Plus, it helps debug issues and refine your AI integrations. So that's everything new in the Flutter 3.32. Make sure to update your SDK and try out these features. Subscribe to Snippet Coder channel for more update and tutorial. Thanks for watching.